Hey guys, it's JT again. Um, I just wanted to do another quick video. <laughs> uh, Roland made a point uh, for non-Photoshop users. Um, some people not, might not might not know what the heck I'm talking about with uh, some of the tools and the numbers and things like that. So let me just run through this again real quick and give you an idea of how I uh, what tools I used, I guess, and how to enter the numbers for you people that don't use uh, Photoshop and even for people that don't use Breeze. Um, this is, a, again, a background I just took out of uh, Google, found an image somewhere, um, and then uh, I just um, went, the last frame I found, I found on uh, Google also, and again, you can do frames any way you want, you can design them in Photoshop, or you can copy other artwork or whatever, but uh, select this frame here, we'll just borrow this, um, we're just going to right click and say copy image, we'll go back to Photoshop, we'll go to a new document. And uh, a new document, when you say new, it's going to automatically know uh, the image that you copied. It'll automatically make that uh, the width and height and the resolution of that image. So if you say OK and then Control V or Paste, it will um, basically put that image right in there that you uh, that you took from Google. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to crop it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come in on, this, on the corners here, crop this a little bit, and double click or hit enter will crop it and then what I'm going to do is take out the center area so I'll go ahead and select that area with the marquee tool here and then uh, delete that and then we'll have basically this uh, wooden frame so what we'll do is we'll hit uh, control A or select all control C which is copy we'll go back to our document Control V, paste, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, hit Control T, which is uh, transform, and then I'll hold Shift and Alt again, scale this down, and then if you hold it right on the corner, you'll see that little curved arrow. You can hold down Shift, and it will lock it into place at 90 degrees if you rotate it. We'll move this where we want it, size it a little bit smaller, and double click or hit Enter. We'll lock that into place. You can see there's a little bit up here I didn't get, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, and then what we'll do is, um, if you hold down Alt, you'll get this little double arrow thing. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hold down Alt and dra <coughs> drag. And um, this will automatically create a new layer with that same artwork in it. We'll hit uh, Control-T again to size it, size it down a little bit double click or hit enter and then we'll do the same thing hold alt and then we're gonna we're gonna click and drag but then we're gonna hold shift which is gonna keep it in line with the first one and then we'll hold let go and hold alt again glad drag and hold shift and we'll just position this you'll see it's off here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all three layers then I'm gonna click and drag all three layers over a little bit just to get them centered so that's basically our three uh, our four frames and then um, I did add a, a little text over here um, that uh, you can add any any text you want. Photoshop has, has got a pretty decent text editor and you can do a lot with the text. I just put a little drop shadow on this. Um, <clears throat> still fighting this cold, obviously my voice is just killing me. And then I'm going to go back to the background layer and I'm going to select our um, marquee tool here, rectangle marquee. And I'm going to select uh, just outside the frame, open area in the middle, select that and delete. And then do the same with all four frames. Delete, delete that, and delete this. So now you've got the openings where your images will come through the overlay. Then we're going to go to our slice tool, which is in the crop tool. Click and hold, and that will bring up the other tools under the crop tool. And then you can choose the slice tool. Go to your first image, uh, select just, just outside the, the opening, click and drag, and just outside the opening down there and let go, and then you'll see this uh, grid pattern thing again here. Right click in there, edit slice options, and you've got 80, 72, 450, and 335. That's the way these numbers are going to go into Breeze, 80, 72, 450, 335, which are going to be in here this is going to be your 80 your 72 your what was the third one uh, 
450 and 335. So this would be 450, and this would be 335. We'll go back to Photoshop. Your next image, this one down here, with your slice tool, click and drag. Release, right click, edit slice options. 50, 503, 332, 46. So you're going to go 50, 503. We'll go back here. 50. What was it? 503. And then 330 and 246. So we'll go 330 and then 246. And so on. And when you've got all four of your numbers in the breeze, your images will show up right behind those frames and um, your images will be perfectly placed in these boxes when you uh, use Breeze. So hopefully that was a little bit better explanation uh, <laughs> than the first one. Being a Photoshop user, I kind of uh, considered, uh, I don't know, I kind of thought everybody would know what I was talking about, which I guess is a, a little bit of a mistake, but um, hopefully that, that explains a little bit better as far as getting the numbers into Breeze into your custom uh, layout um, numbers and everything. Um, but once you have these um, these numbers in here, you can click on your preview if you have your page set right, and it will actually show you those boxes where they're at and everything um, as far as your layout. And you can do a, a test image or whatever you want to do just to get things, uh, get them, get everything, uh, make sure everything's right. But that's basically a little bit more detailed uh, explanation of how to do a uh, overlay in Photoshop for Breeze. So hopefully that was a little bit uh, better explanation. So. Um, I will uh, see you guys on the forum. Take care.